Hello and welcome friends. We are with another case and this case involves reverse calculations. The information available is the limits for the population correlation coefficient are 0.72 and 0.88 respectively. Find out n or sample size. As we know that the lower value shows the lower limit and the higher value shows the upper limit. So the lower limit is 0.72 and the upper limit is 0.88. Now the formula to calculate the lower limit is coefficient of correlation or sample coefficient of correlation minus probable error that is 0.72 and sample correlation coefficient plus probable error 0.88 that is upper limit. So this is some kind of equations. If we add these two equations, the effect will be 2R probable error negative and positive will be cancelled equals to 1.6. So ultimately the coefficient of correlation comes to 0.8. Let us substitute this value in any of the two equations. Say coefficient of correlation plus probable error equals to 0.88. Now we mean that 0.8 plus probable error equals to 0.88. That means probable error is 0.08. Now we have these two. If we substitute these two into the formula of probable error, we can have n or sample size as a result of the reverse calculations. The formula to calculate probable error is 0.6745 into 1 minus coefficient square upon under root n. That means 0 0.08 equals to 0.6745 into 1 minus 0.8 the whole square upon under root n. That means 0 0.08 equals to 0 0.6745 into 1 minus 0 0.64 upon under root n. Another simplification is 0 0.08 equals to 0 0.6745 into 0 0.36 upon under root n. Now we want the value of n. So ultimately n is or under root n sorry is 0.36 upon 0 0.08 and 0 0.6745 remains as in multiplication. So ultimately under root n is 3.03525. We have to get the squared values on both the sides. So ultimately that will be 9.21 but as we know that n sample size can never be a fractional value it must be an integer so we can say that n or sample size is 9 approximately thus on the basis of the lower limit and upper limit we first calculated coefficient of correlation and probable error and on the basis of these two or other by substituting these two in the formula of probable error, we ultimately can find the sample size. That's it. Thank you very much.